if you're here for the first time, welcome. Today, I'm going to talk about my 2019 Specialized Pitch. The Pitch was my first real mountain bike, and since then, it's become the second bike I've customized, the first being the Marin Bellinas Ridge. When I bought the Pitch, it was a Pitch Expert model, with a 2x9 drivetrain and a Suntour XCR 32mm stanchion coil fork with 100mm of travel and a lockout. It had generic specialized tires and it still has the stock Shimano MT200 hydraulic disc brakes with 160mm rotors in the front and rear. And not much else in terms of comfort or convenience. Equipped on the bike now are FSA Comet low riser 740mm wide bars, ODI grips along with a box 3 prime 9 shifter and a wolf tooth dropper lever. The new fork is a RockShox Recon Silver Air, again with 100mm of travel, but because I mostly use this bike for XC rides, I hardly need more than 100mm, and the fork has more setting options and roughly 2 pounds lighter than the Suntour model it replaced. Moving on, the shark sticker is just a shark sticker, enjoy it. It's now equipped with a 100mm dropper post. Before this, it had a quick release clamp. However, the height I needed it at versus the lowest it could be dropped was only about half an inch. When you're going downhill, the last thing you need is your seat to be in the way. So the 100mm dropper is a huge boost to what it had before. With Maxxis aggressors in the rear and Maxxis DHR in the front, I've yet to find a situation where the tires leave me wanting more grip. The drivetrain now has a Wolf 2 32 tooth oval chainring paired with an IXF crank set and race face chest pedals. These now spin the Box 3 Prime 9 group set, which I bought because the previous derailleur was a 9 speed. I know it'll work, and since then, I really enjoyed it. I rarely need more than the wide cassette, and the ability to quickly switch from a low gear to a high gear makes it a good bargain for its price point. The time and effort I put into this one? It depends. For me, I was interested in mountain biking and the pitch had all the basic essentials I needed. I don't regret spending time or money into customizing my bike, and the upgrades have greatly improved the capabilities of the bike to something that I knew it could be. I've had fun on this bike, I've had fun upgrading it, and I continue to have fun now. Even when I'm out of breath and sweaty, there's still a smile on my face, and all these are signs of a good hobby. If you have any questions about the bike, or a particular upgrade, feel free to ask. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to ride your own bike.